Deer season is winding down, and so is season three of Fuel the Fire TV. But Darcy and I are still trying to get it done, though. We had a ton of great hunting trips this year, with turkey, moose, and deer being some of our favorites. This week, we're going to highlight some of our most memorable hunts and give you a sneak peek into what's coming in season four. Stay tuned, you're watching Fuel the Fire TV. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, friends, and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures as we spend all of the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion, and fueling the fire in the great outdoors. Closed captioning for Fuel the Fire is brought to you by Let's Roll Out ALS.ca. Do you have a shot there? He's coming out right here. We should almost switch. Easy, easy, easy. 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 Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. He can see you. I need a better shot than that. I'm gonna count it. Oh, his head's down this way. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, bang the camera. Wow, that's awesome. Paul just texted me, said, I see you're in the bush. I said, yeah, we're on a big tom. Fueling the passion, fueling the fire, and getting outdoors, big tom down, buddy. Boom! It's so much fun to turkey hunt, and I know that the boys from Northern Boys Outfitting, that's Al and Tyler, had a great season as well in season three, and their footage was just phenomenal. I have to show it to you again in case you missed it. Gobble right there, it's probably the same tree that we scared them out of last time. Awesome work from Northern Boys Outfitting as usual. I love it when a plan comes together. And for season four, for my turkey hunt in season four, man, we had just a, a small window to get it done. And I actually headed down to the Bruce Peninsula for a one day hunt. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek right now. About 300 yards, there's a great big tom. Now I walked all the way around here to get on the back side of this property to get here. And they've cut me off. Okay, I'm gonna hustle here because I know where those birds are in the field. And I just gotta get down this laneway. I'm gonna try and cut them off before they go to the roost because the trees aren't big enough to roost where they are. This is my only shot here. This and tomorrow morning.
<laughs> the Benelli got it done again. I just, I love that gun. And uh, I'm out here fueling my passion, fueling the fire and getting outdoors. Man, that is just awesome. Oh, I'm so pumped. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by JR Wetlands Outfitters. This segment of Fuel the Fire is brought to you by Buck Down Archery. Welcome back to Fuel the Fire TV. For season four in our Trophy Tail segment, we're going to be highlighting Manitoulin Monster Whitetails. Now, Manitoulin Island is the largest freshwater island in the world, and it's home to a resident population of deer in the thousands. There's actually more deer here than people, and we love showcasing some of these big bucks. We're looking at deer that score in and around 150 inches or better, according to the Federation for the Recognition of Ontario Wildlife. This particular deer was harvested in season three by Warren Corbier. As you can see, this deer has a great main beam length. It's actually just under 25 inches. And when you're doing a quick tabulation of the score, if you look at this being 25, this is about 10, so that gives you 35. Combined, there's another 10. That's gonna be 45, plus this one is 50. And then we're looking at about four inches, a little bit more than four inches around the circumference. So four, eight, 12, 16, that gives you 66. And if you double that, that's 132. The inside spread of this deer is about 15, 16 inches. So then that's gonna give you upwards of 148, give or take. This, score, this deer actually scored 151 inches. It's a great Manitoulin buck. Congratulations, Warren Corbier, pro staff for Fuel the Fire TV. Warren's telling me that he's got a little four-pointer out in front of him at his stand and uh, that he looks like he's all rotted up. I can hear a deer running, running through the swamp. I'm gonna get ready, just in case. Doe just stepped out. He's right beside, right behind her. This is the He's just focused on her. Oh, there she goes. passion fueling the fire and getting out and getting outdoors pro staff Warren Corbier with his best buck to date eh? it is yes awesome man good job perfect and the guys here at fuel the fire TV Stacy Rayner Warren Cody Hunter they're dragging their cameras out into the field they're putting the time in they're being patient and they're pressing record check out Stacy Rayner season 3 monster whitetail
I just made a shot on my target buck. It didn't look like it was a very good shot placement. I watched him run through the field. He hit two fences trying to get out of the field. He ran right through my backyard because I can see my house from here. And I heard him hit another fence. I'm hoping he didn't go too far, but... Right on, first bow kill. First big deer for me. Pretty proud of this one. Here we are with my 2018 archery buck. This is actually the first deer I've ever taken with the bow. And a few years ago I told myself, I didn't want to shoot a buck unless I figured it was going to be shoulder mount worthy. And to me, this guy fits the bill. I'm quite proud of him. Remember folks, you feel your passion, feel your fire, you got to get outdoors. Congratulations Stace, just a great deer from Manitoulin Island and used archery tackle as well. Now season four will mark the end of an interesting hunting chapter called Wide Nine. We've had the pleasure and honor of chasing this deer and trying to figure him out over the last four and a half years. I've had multiple opportunities in archery and Warren gets it done in rifle. To be so close 35 yards and for him to to turn around and and trot out of there oh man just killing me we're looking at two legends actually <laughs> warren is one of them and this deer is called wide nine this is our fourth year so this is his six and a half year he's probably 260 or 70 pounds he's, he's got a 22 inch inside spread at least or more and we've never had a shot at him in rifle and we said if we get a shot we're taking it camera or not dude i am so happy for you me too bud thanks a lot eh that's awesome we've been <laughs> at it for a long time for this guy and it's all worth it you have to fuel your fire you have to fuel that passion and you have to get outdoors what a great deer this segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Indigenous Tourism Ontario. Welcome back to Fuel the Fire TV. We're highlighting our season three and previewing season four that starts next year, April 2020. I'd be remiss if I didn't draw special attention to Wesley Bow Guides of Hearst, Ontario. Rick and his brother Lawrence run a great operation, and if you don't know who Rick is, just Google Bear Attack Rick Wesley, and you'll get the picture. Now. We always carry one, two, sometimes three cameras into the field. Rick put his mind and set the task of videoing a bear hunt with four cameras. All right, so we're on the road up to Rick Wesley's camp, which is about 120 kilometers outside of Hearst in Northern Ontario. Now I did see a little bear on the way in today. I had a chance to get a good look at him as he sat on the road and fed on some grasses. So you never know, I'm following Greta and Rick and we'll see what happens, but I'm excited to be in bear country. See, the last evening, big bear hunt for me. I go to back to work, my vacation is over. Well, my friend Neil got a nice bear, and we're hoping uh, we got three hunters out tonight. And we're hoping to get uh, some action, maybe get a big bear coming in.
Congratulations, Rick. Fantastic camera work. You definitely earned the title of Pro Staff. Now, Rick and Larry also helped me get on my biggest bear to date up at Wesley Bow Guides in Hearst, but you'll have to wait for season four to see that. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV was brought to you by Wikwemekong Tourism. I don't even know where to start when it comes to talking about our fishing episodes in season four, but I guess we'll start with our backcountry adventure into Point Grundine, and we are with our field guides from Wikwemekong Tourism. We're on a family adventure into Point Grundine Park. It's a park nestled between Killarney Provincial and the French River. We're going to do a one kilometer portage up into a lake that's renowned for largemouth bass. There's Aspen's fish that tried to kill me. <laughs> Just bring him straight up. Bring it straight up. Yep. Nice. Ooh, perfect. Little one pounder. Good for the frying pan. Good for the frying pan. Nicely done. Wikwemekong Tourism is becoming a leader when it comes to providing action and adventure to the outdoor enthusiast. They're gonna be at it again this coming February, the 22nd and 23rd, and if you're into ice fishing and big fish and a chance at big prizes, you have to check out the Manitoulin Ice Showdown because they're partnering with the Manitoulin Expositor, our local paper. And that brings us to our last segment, our last sneak peek at what we have in store for season four. We set sail again on the southern shores of Manitoulin Island for the Manitoulin Salmon Classic. Leading the derby is a 30 pounder. We've got a 26 pound in fourth place and also our youth category, Logan Sullivan is still holding on to first with a 2273. It's shaping up for a great final derby weekend. We'll see what happens. All right, you got a hook up here. You got a hook up. That's okay, let it pull, let it pull, let it pull. Let it pull. Let it pull. <laughs> let it pull, that's good. I'm gonna pull this off here so we can see who you are. Oh, it's been in line today. Spin in line. There is nothing like catching fish with your kids in the morning. This seems like a pretty good salmon. Oh, he's still about 60 feet out. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee while Aspen's working this fish. She's doing all the work. Her dad just gets to sit back, watch, and enjoy. Doing good, you're doing good. Keep going. What if we got a double header? Maybe we're asking for too much. What a gorgeous morning it is. 49. 49 feet. Hey, I'm gonna have to get to the business end here. Here he comes. He's coming in. Couple more reels. I can't see him yet. Hang on. Oh, he's down there. He's down there. Got him! Got him! Good job! <laughs> derby or no derby, this is what it's all about. I absolutely love watching my kids catch fish. And if you don't do it, you're missing out. Take every opportunity you can to spend time with your young ones out in the wilderness, out in nature, bonding, even if you don't catch fish. It's a great time, but when you do, and you see those big smiles, nothing beats it. Fuel your passion, fuel the fire, and get outdoors. Aspen got a nice 10 pound Chinook salmon this morning, and I'm absolutely proud of her efforts. Good job. We posted our best results for this year's Salmon Classic by far. Sean and Dave were at it, 
and those guys tied into some leviathans, which you're going to have to tune in to the salmon episode. Well, that brings our season three highlight and our season four preview to an end. We just want to make sure we take the opportunity to thank all of our sponsors for their support. We also want to thank you, the viewer, for checking us out, for watching and supporting us, for sending your comments, because we hope that we inspire you to fuel your passion, fuel the fire and get outdoors. Don't forget to check us out on our Instagram, our Facebook page. You can watch old episodes on our YouTube channel. And lastly, our podcast at Fuel the Fire TV. We'll see you next season.